I am Major Katina Gomez. I am the president of the Prince George's County Police Officer Commands Association, and I welcome you all to our annual candlelight memorial service. Every police officer knows that if we ever find ourselves in a situation in which the ultimate sacrifice is the price, we have made peace with this because we responded and accepted the call to serve. However, this does not make it easier for those we leave behind. To the surviving family members, thank you for being here with us tonight. We may never fully understand your pain, but please know you and the heroes we honor here tonight are always in our hearts and in our thoughts, and we will stand by you now and always. It is with great honor that we memorialize the fallen that have gone before us. Tonight, in the glow of candlelight, but also each day, each shift, each call for service, we remember. Now we will have remarks by Chief Malik Aziz. Thank you, Major Gomez. Well, good evening. Uh, today, uh, we're paying tribute and honor to those who have fallen. And we, we constantly use this term, ultimate sacrifice, the ultimate sacrifice. So just indulge me for uh, just a couple of minutes while we talk about the ultimate sacrifice and what it actually means. To die for something or trying to achieve something. To die for something or trying to achieve something. And it's a little misleading, I should say because heroes never die. Heroes live forever. And so what do we say here when we use those terms that the fire is not extinguished, it actually burns forever, immortalized, but not standing still in time, moving forward with time, constantly in motion constantly in motion that so much that groups like this when we are long gone will gather to remember those who have fallen because heroes never die. So when we pay the ultimate sacrifice and we're paying tribute to those who have given, see in, in, in a room full of law enforcement we have given so much. but. These men and women have given it all, have given it all. There's nothing left. There's no more to give. And what are they, what is the something? The something is this visibility for the most visible form of democracy in action. The most visible apparent form of democracy in action. That's who we are. And so those who gave and paid the ultimate sacrifice to achieve something, to be heroes, to live forever, to be remembered forever, that this week and next week all around this nation, that those who have paid the ultimate sacrifice, will names will be called, their memories will be relived over and over, what they contributed to the fabric of this live and vibrant democracy in action can never be forgotten. And why? Because they gave it for the safety and the security of where we live, for this great nation. And those are things that are often overlooked because we just say the words and they roll off our tongues really so easily. And we come around year after year. And yet, there's a special group, a special group who cannot, who cannot forget. So the families who are here, I want to pay a special tribute and thank you to you because you gave so much in that ultimate sacrifice. And I see your faces over here now, many of you who I know by face and name. And being new to this county in, in two years, and I feel what you feel. 
that we have lost across the nation and we have lost our brothers here, our sisters here, and we know what that ultimate sacrifice means, but you know what it means even more. And we are honored, we are honored to be part of the Blue family. We are honored that you are part of our family and we pay tribute to you. And even though we mark this occasion today, that we have made a promise, we have made a commitment that we who adorn these uniforms with these patches and these shields will never forget the names of those who paid that sacrifice. So thank you so much and thank you for indulging me with a few words for people who have meant, men and women who have meant so much uh, to this profession, to the most noble profession in the world, and who have given so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Chief, for those powerful remarks. At this time, we will have the presentation of light uh, presented by Ms. Bridget Atkins. And now we will begin the memorial roll call of names. Special Agent Arthur J. Sanderson, United States Bureau of Prohibition, end of watch, December 29th, 1932. Officer Edward D. Merson, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, September 1st, 1937. Quartermaster Sergeant Ellsworth D. Dryden, Maryland State Police, end of watch, October 7th, 1938. Officer Charles F. Caldwell, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, June 12th, 1948. Officer Alfred W. Stanett, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, May 2nd, 1963. Sergeant Joseph K. Brown, Sr. Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, February 19th, 1966. Officer John W. Leatherberry, Jr., Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, March 21st, 1968. Officer William R. Clements, Town of Seat Pleasant Police Department, end of watch, November 30th, 1968. 
Officer Robert K. Yazerski, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, November 30th, 1968. Officer William W. Gullett, Jr., Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, February 16th, 1969. Officer Raymond L. Hawkins. United States Park Police, end of watch, February 15th, 1972. Officer Carol D. Garrison, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, February 20th, 1973. <laughs> Trooper First Class Donald E. Parkerson, Maryland State Police. End of watch, September 18th. 1973. Trooper First Class Charles S. Rathel Jr., Maryland State Police, end of watch, September 18th, 1973. Trooper Mart Hudson, Jr., Maryland State Police. End of watch, June 16th, 1975. Deputy Mark C. Featherstone, Office of the Sheriff, Calvert County. End of watch, April 22nd. 1976. Officer James B. Swart, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, June 26, 1978. Officer Albert M. Claggett IV, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, June 26, 1978. Officer Antonio M. Kelsey. Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, February 2nd, 1980. Officer Raymond Hubbard, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, February 8th, 1980. 
1982. Corporal Allen D. Johnson, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, December 8th, 1982. Officer Robert K. Best, Metropolitan Police Department, Washington, D.C., end of watch, December 15th, 1982. Officer Carlton X. Fletcher, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, June 12th. 1983. Major Richard J. Beavers, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, November 29th, 1983. Private Robert J. King, City of Hyattsville Police Department. End of watch, June 18th, 1984. Yeah. Officer James L. Gordon. Metropolitan Police Department, Washington, D.C. End of watch, December 14th, 1987. <coughs> Sergeant Mark K. Murphy. Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, September 1st, 1988. Sergeant Harry L. Kennekin, Jr. Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch. January 13th, 1990. Corporal Ryan C. Johnson, Sr., Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, April 22nd, 1992. <laughs> Lieutenant Roger P. Fleming, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, October 27th, 1992. Officer Harry Davis, Jr., Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority Police. End of watch, December 20th, 1993. 
Sergeant John L. Bagilio, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, February 28th, 1994. Sergeant John J. Novobilsky, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, April 26, 1995. <laughs> Special Agent William H. Christian, Jr. Federal Bureau of Investigation, end of watch, May 29th, 1995. Corporal Amos Williams, Jr., Washington, D.C., Department of Corrections. End of watch, December 31st, 1996. Officer Oliver W. Smith, Jr., Metropolitan Police Department, Washington, D.C. End of watch, February 26th. 1997. Corporal Raymond G. Armstead, Jr., Maryland State Police. End of watch, March 25th, 1998. Postal Inspector Robert F. Jones, Jr., United States Postal Inspector Service. End of watch, July 14th, 2000. Police Officer First Class Colonzo M. Masimbwa. Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, November 10th, 2000. Officer Hakim A. Farthing, United States Park Police, End of watch, August 10th, 2002. Yeah. Sergeant James V. Arnott, Office of the Sheriff, Prince George's County. End of watch, August 29th, 2002. Private First Class Elizabeth L. Magruder, Office of the Sheriff, Prince George's County. End of watch, August 29th, 2002. Sergeant Anthony M. Walker, Prince George's County Police Department, End of watch, November 15th, 2003. 
Trooper First Class, Anthony M. Jones, Maryland State Police. End of watch, May 9th, 2004. Sergeant Clifton Reif II, Metropolitan Police Department, Washington, D.C. End of watch, June 2nd, 2004. Sergeant Stephen F. Goggin, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, June 21st, 2005. Sergeant Richard S. Findley, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, June 27th, 2008. Corporal Stephen H. Bunker, Maryland State Police. End of watch, September 28, 2008. Trooper First Class, Mickey C. Lippy, Maryland State Police. End of watch, September 28th, 2008. Corporal Thomas P. Jensen, Prince George's County Police Department. End of watch, March 9th, 2010. Trooper Wesley W. J. Brown, Maryland State Police, end of watch, June 11th, 2010. Police Officer First Class, Adrian A. Morris, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, August 20th, 2012. Police Officer First Class, Brennan R. Rebane, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, March 7th, 2015.
Corporal Jakai D. Colson, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, March 13th, 2016. Sergeant Mujahid Ramsadin, Prince George's County Police Department, end of watch, February 21st, 2018. Master Patrol Officer Christine Peters, City of Greenbelt Police Department, end of watch, January 14th, 2021. Eight L. 